Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King review. I'm going back over all of the books I haven't reviewed on the channel. If you feel confused and think I've reviewed these books, it's because I've done Thursday Theorist episodes, but I have not done actual reviews. And yes, you can watch the Thursday Theorist review for my thoughts on the book, but also uh, they tend to be spoiler filled and I want to keep these reviews uh, not, you know, without spoilers. But today we are talking about Pet Cemetery, one of my top three favorite Stephen King books of all time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back here, right in front of later. So this is the story of Lewis Creed and his family moving to a new town called Harlow uh, in Maine. And there's a uh, old man who lives across the street with his wife named Judd Crandall. Uh, these are the most important characters in the book other than a character named Pascal. Um, when they move in here, Judd uh, mentions that there is a cemetery that can bring back uh, animals from, or yeah, more than animals from the dead if you bury it. There is a small pet cemetery uh, very close to Lewis's house, um, but it is not the pet cemetery that Crandall is talking about. He's talking about much further on this old uh, Native American burial, burial ground uh, that the Micmac Indians used, um, and if and the soil's hard, it's rough, it's it's it takes effort to bury your dead there, and if you bury them, they come back. Um, so th this story is one of my favorites because it is Stephen King's darkest work, uh, to I mean, not not to date, but it is his darkest. Um, it has the best final line of all time for me. Um, if I were going to do a top five Friday for final lines, it would be number one. Um, I think it's rather obvious, so I haven't included that in my top five Friday, but if you'd like to see an episode of that in November, because I'm not doing them for 31 days of Halloween, please tell me, uh, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But the family dynamic here, um, Lewis, Rachel, his wife, uh, is it Ellie, I believe, and then Gage is the little boy. A tragedy strikes the family, and the father must, and the, and the father gets ideas. Um, it is one, it's, I would say it's probably the most heartbreaking of Stephen King's work. Um, I think the closest that comes to it is maybe revival as far as the bleak nature of it. But this one is especially heartbreaking. Um, especially if you're a parent. Um, there, there's some scenes in here that will, if you have your own kids, they're going to, it's going to bother you. Um, the, the character of Church the Cat is a highlight. Um, I really love that. The, this is one of the times that Stephen King does dream sequences perfectly also. Uh, the I can never remember the name of the, not the nanny, but the housekeeper that they hire. Uh, every single character in here has an important character arc or an important story. Um, and certain characters were either blended or removed from the movie. Um, and I didn't mind it. The, the original uh, one by Mary Lambert, the original movie adaptation of it, is an all-time favorite of mine. Yes, there's some terrible acting in there. But the reboot from 2018, 19, something like that, was absolutely terrible. Um, I even called it, like, Disney XD-level production. It is terrible to look at, um, and the acting was awful and the changes were unnecessary especially the ending i'm not talking about the uh the middle of the book with the truck i'm not talking about that um it was unfortunate it would might have been a good twist for the reboot had they not shown it in the trailer so if you're going to watch that one i definitely recommend don't want not watching the trailer uh before you watch the movie even though i don't recommend the movie at all um the I, I really don't have too much more to say about this. You guys know me. If, you're, if you've are if you been watching the channel for any length of time, you know I always have far more to say about a book if I don't like it um, because I have stuff to talk about. Otherwise, I'm just sitting here going, this was fantastic, this was great, this was that. So it's my highest possible recommendation. I only have two of his fiction books above this one, um, and that is uh, Revival and uh, It. 
uh, and those, and we're getting up to it very, very soon. Um, in fact, I'm recording them today, so every Thursday you're going to get this. You're going to get a new Stephen King review. Um, but have you read Pet Cemetery? Uh, if you have, let me know down there in the doobly doo whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it, whether or not you felt meh about it. I would especially like to hear from you if you didn't like this book. Um, I say that because I. I I, I'm sometimes blind to issues, and I don't mind seeing them. You're not going to ruin the book for me. But especially if you hated this one or felt meh, I would like to know why. So express your opinion in detail so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Stephen King review. Almost said another episode of 31 Days of Halloween, but it is that too. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!